What's going on guys code expert here and in the previous tutorials we created modifier and events and we also used both of them uh, and in this tutorial we are going to create uh, a new function so let's start typing a function and this function is going to be used uh, to check whether our goal is reached within time or not so uh, the name for the function will be check um, goal reached and it will be a public function and we are going to um, add some condition here so if um, amount raised is greater than or equal to funding goal then we are going to set um, funding goal reached is equal to true and also we are going to emit this event now goal reached event so let's emit it emit um, goal reached and beneficiary and amount raised all right so we have two parameters here one is recipient which is a beneficiary uh, who gets all of the money and another is the total amount raised which is amount raised all right and uh, also what we want to do now we want to execute this function after the deadline is uh, passed all right so for that we are going to modify this function using our modifier that we created in the last tutorial so to do that it's very simple just type in front of it uh, the name of the modifier that you want to use and it's uh, I don't think that's any error sometimes solidity gives error without any reasons and it's gone now um, and uh, so this function now can be only executed after deadline and if it is uh, before deadline uh, by this function and if it is before deadline then it's going to uh, pass the function so it's not going to execute and since it is after deadline we are also going to um, set crowd sale closed is equal to true since we have passed the deadline all right so that's it guys uh, that was a really short tutorial and i recommend you to go through this and run once again to check whether everything works fine and if you have any queries then please comment below and i will try to answer those and in the next tutorial we are going to finalize our contract and then create a new cryptocurrency token erc20 token and in the uh, last tutorial we are going to deploy all of these contracts that we have created to create our crowd sale of our uh, ERC20 token. Alright, so that's it guys. Let's meet in the next tutorial and I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Please make sure to like it, share and subscribe to my channel because that will motivate me to create more awesome videos like this. For now, take care, keep smiling and keep learning. Bye bye.